Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. We begin this evening with a Primetime News follow-up. It's been 24 hours since the bombshell revelation about the fraud at Stocks and Securities Limited and the true scale of losses is still unknown. TVJ News understands that current investors are, are nervous. Our reporter, business reporter Javon Keyes has been tracking that story. Up to news time, the attorney representing the accused told our news center that the police had not yet contacted her client. The Financial Investigations Division, FID, the Front Squad, and the Financial Services Commission, FSC, we're told, are still combing through documents to get a true sense of how much money has been swindled. It doesn't appear to be business as usual here at Stocks and Securities Limited in Kingston. The brokerage firm, which started operations in 1977, is under increased scrutiny as within the last 24 hours, it's been alleged that a former manager has fleeced more than $1.2 billion and counting from various accounts of at least 40 clients to include Sprint legend Usain Bolt. Now today when we came to the entity, as you can see behind me, the gates are closed. That's not a usual sign. When we spoke to the security guard, he insisted, however, that business is going on as usual. When we visited the financial institution, the empty parking lot didn't convince us that the business was open. We asked if we could go in to speak with someone, but the guard told us that was against the instructions he received. We decided to call SSL and after trying a few times, we finally got through on the phone. We're not open today. Oh, so you're not open for business? Not today. Would you be open Where? on Monday? Oh, go ahead. Well, I wouldn't be able to give you that information, but yeah, we're, we're just not open today. TVJ News understands that scores of clients have been reaching out to the entity with queries about the state of their funds. It's also understood that some are hoping to withdraw their investments from the institution, but for many, their calls were futile. As it relates to the progress of the investigation, that is not yet clear. However, our sources tell us that the FID has been taking client statements and that a senior member of Usain Bolt's management team has provided a statement. The Financial Services Commission has instituted enhanced oversight on stocks and securities limited SSL as the investigations continue. This means the company can continue to do business. However, the FSC will be combing through transactions and monitoring the movement of funds and securities into and out of SSL. Javon Keyes, TVJ News.